spend a half day, bring your skepticism, but bring your hope that this can be true because you will see a reality. What we have is yours. Our doors are open. Our lessons are there. We do not have all the answers. But you have a partner. Employers call us. They make the tour. We give them everything that we have. Every lesson that we've learned. Because this has turned out to be the best thing we've ever done. I've heard Randy Lewis, the previous EVP of Walgreens, say um, how well it ran, how much it made sense, and it was the right thing to do. So as of this year, um, our agency actually purchased another company in South Carolina in the Honeopath area, which services Greenville. Walgreens built one of the most state-of-art uh, facilities in that area, in the Anderson area, and we went for a site visit. Uh, Jeff Howell, my director of marketing, myself, and then our team from South Carolina um, came and observed the, the actual facility itself. And we were just blown away. First off, when you have 42% of your labor force and leadership that have some type of disability, it's pretty hard to hide that. And what we found was all the way from leadership down to the person that answers the phone, it was accepted company-wide. Uh, to the outcomes were there. Everything that Randy said in the summits that I listened to him speak at and he personally spoke to me on a one-on-one -on -one basis was absolutely true. If I pulled the seven people that met with us at, from the executive team uh, to go through question and answer and find out the good and the bad and the ugly, um, what I found to be true was all of them were on the same page. All of them believed in the model. All of them said it was the right KPIs and ROI for Walgreens and it made financial sense and it's changed their life. So I just want to tell you that it can't, it doesn't just have to be a Walgreens because the next question I asked was, well, you spent millions of dollars on this facility to get the right outcomes. Can a local small business do it? Can a medium sized business do it? And one of the executives said, Ron, we have a non automated facility real close to here in Atlanta that has better outcomes and have a significant labor force that are affected by disability. So you don't have to be a Walgreens and spend millions of dollars to do this model. You just have to make a decision to, to make this part of your business model, find out more information, and lower down the fear factor. That fear is probably what's going to hold most companies back from doing this, and I would tell you that that's not necessarily true. Just roll up your sleeves, get your leadership involved, make the decision to do it, and you're going to find a lot of benefits by hiring people with disabilities.